karma. Maybe give a couple up dupes. But either way, good to see everybody. Hope you all are having a good Wednesday. After Dead Cells, we're going to be doing some rare League of Legends. Twitch assures me that my viewers watch League of Legends. Yeah, thank you, Yabuki. I just had to do that. Twitch assures me you all watch it. Um, and what better time to play it than now with a brand new ranked season. Um, before that, we have a viewer build, though. We should have it already updated. If you want to know what the build is, it's exclamation point B-O-T-D. That should be already set up. Um, I just have to go through the whole motion once we get in there. Uh, but do we have any Redditors in my own chat? Can I get a Y in the chat if you go on Reddit ever? <laughs> Yo, no. That's a clean skin with the cape too. Gotta do it up, dude. For those who don't know, no did the V.me skin. You had to go to this map to get the screenshot. There's no way. Like, you can't do this in Clock Tower. Like, Clock Tower is close. I know there's some clocks in Gotham City. But you gotta get it under the moonlight. Under the dark sky. Anybody who draws gets an up, dude. You can literally go on Reddit and put a stick figure. I'm giving it a thumbs up. I'm not doing it. The bravest people knowing the humankind right here. Tier list, except I only have eight hours. All right, this is what we're specialized in, if you ask me. What is this? <laughs> it's like the logo. How'd that sneak in there? So S tier, electric whip, YOLO in the S tier. We have that mandatory in 12 BC. I like the scrolls. Brut <laughs> Why is Brutality Tactics in S tier? Brutality is in A tier and Tactics is in B tier. I, d I don't know if I get that one. You would think... <laughs> you would think like... Maybe Brutality S and then the Duel is in the A. This one, this kind of throws me for a loop. That's the thing from Forgotten Set Poker. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, unless you're a gamer, eight hours into Dead Cells, you get to Set Poker somehow. I, I don't know how in eight hours, but you got there. You probably died, or you're like, oh my god, I gotta speed through this place. This place is awful. And then you get this thing, and you're like, oh, relief. But it's only B tier? I, I don't know. I, I feel like an eight hour player that's gotta be up here. And then all of this stuff unused. I love it. <laughs> I wonder what else they play that they know about tier maker. Like, are they a Pokemon player? Maybe they play fighting games? That's really interesting. Yo, Titanium Sky, welcome. Happy to have you here. They took the ulti path in Stilt Village. But you need... You need Wall Climb to do that. So if you get Wall Climb, you have to go through... I mean, unless you get very, very good platforming. Or you're a speedrunner. I don't think you can get it without wall climbing. Wall climbing means you had to do Slumbering Sanctuary at some point, which is also hard. I mean, I guess maybe you died and then instantly went to Forgotten Cell Poker. I guess there's a lot of ways to do it. Help. No help. Uh, just a curse, but for everyone. Quad damage on a level 2 heavy crossbow. Like, you literally just spawn. And the game gives you this. What kind of freaking lotto luck is that? Buy some scratch tickets. Simple Katana Tech. Now, my only worry about this... 
Do I still have the link? Billy, Billy, Billy. Is it this? It is. All right, give me a translate. How do I translate on Firefox? All right, we're gonna have to, oh God. Okay, if I put this into Google, you all can't see what I'm doing right now. And then be like, translate. Oh my God, it's so loud. Be like, translate to English. The user is Al Kelly. Al Kelly. So like my only worry is that this person on Reddit Their name is not Al Kelly. But this is definitely from this person. Because we went through like, yeah, I was trying to pronounce it differently. How would you pronounce this, Zalaxin? Alkali? Yeah, you get it, you get it, you get it. Um, so yeah, this tutorial is from this person from Billy Billy. Um, it's legit. This is how I learned how to do the tech. I couldn't afford to go to China, so I just had to look up a Billy Billy video. Which I, I assume that's what everyone else does. Um, but definitely if you're gonna, if you're gonna post video from someone else, like make sure that you say somewhere in here that this video like either doesn't belong to you or this is my original work. That's all I'm saying. No up dude, no down boot dude, just leave it as is. Been struggling with the difficulty spike 2 BC since I started playing survival. Honestly, don't know how to go back to brutality. You and me both, buddy. I feel like I have a negative win rate in brutality. Blaze, good to see you if I didn't say hi to you already. I <laughs> all right. Okay, hear me out here. What if they also played the same item in brutality? Funny enough, this entire build can be played in Brutality. The only difference is you lose out the soldier. I wonder, is that toxic to say? Comments? Show me comments. No one pointed that out. Okay, chat. Is it toxic for me to say this build could be played as Brutality? Like, this is literally a Brutality build. It is, right? I'm, I still gave it the up, dude. I'm, I'm not gonna type it out. You don't have to say everything that comes to mind. But if the colors were changed, I think this would play the exact same way. Yo, a little staffy dabbing on the entire map. <laughs> I don't think that's toxic. We gotta figure out. Okay, so maybe we don't we don't say it that way. It's like you can almost play this build as Brut if only there was a brut equivalent for soldiers resistance frowny face okay see that's how we we put in positivity because like when you're looking at text you don't know what people are thinking i'm not trying to be mean I just want to point out that that could be also done. After struggling with Cavern 4 BC, finally got my fifth boss. So congratulations, Moxo number two. The spiritual successor of Moxo number one. Oh my God. This got so many up dudes. Be safe around spiky stuff and trains. I don't get it. 
Is this like an anime reference? Am I too much of a boomer to, to get the trains part and the asterisks? You just gave me a brilliant idea that I'm too lazy and untalented to follow up on. Dumb ways to die reference? Is, is that a thing? Like a comic? Dumb ways... It's in here. Mobile game. What? To die... Mobile game. Oh, it's these? Wait, they have a game? I'm afraid to click images. I feel like this was an artist on Twitter and they made a game. I mean, that's sick. Okay, you, you sold me on the updo. If that's your post, a uh, prof, <laughs> you, you sold me. <laughs> Anyone know why these red skulls appear over items? How do I get rid of them? Okay. So either... Either they're playing a hot version of the game or they stumbled onto some kind of like development kit debug mode. I don't think you can mod the mobile version. Has he, any of my mobile players, have you all had this before? It, even the down slam has it. What is that? I don't think anyone figured it out. Drop a link to support. I don't know if you want to report that. Didn't even know Dead Cells had mobile? Yeah, it's on everything now. PC, console, mobile. Mobile is just a few updates behind though. That's the only thing about it. I hope they figure it out. I really do. Damage. Yo, we got that the other day. No spoilers though. Made it to the big leagues. Congratulations. K-Ball. You got an up, dude. Ladies and gentlemen, I finally did it. I barely do this when I play. I don't know why. I think maybe I just talk too much. I would love to have a day that I only ever get double doors. Like, I think I did that one time as like a, a challenge run. Every map has to be both doors or you reset. I think I can still do that. Let's let's put that one on the tracker. Every door, if you don't get the doors, you die. That's the that's the thing. Gotta give our F tier weapons some love. Hang on, hang on. What is this quality? Reddit, please. Double barrel launcher. Huh. It still reaches. Oh, you gotta go way up. You gotta go into space to land those. Okay. Hand the king? Oh, this is much easier though. And they avoided the hit. The hitbox? I swear if that was me, I would've gotten tagged. It is Double Wings of the Crow, by the way. Can you get a link for the video, this one that we're looking at right now? Wait, Queen? Queen doesn't have a wall. Huh. So you invent a wall. Ooh, but she can outplay it. Okay, they handcrafted Queen. Even the laser line. She doesn't always fall for this. All right, back to square one, <laughs> back to safety. 
I bet that overhead swipe could actually hurt you. Alright, share. Here you go. Oh, wow. Servants? No. No, 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 no. Did I just see what I think I saw? Yeah, I'm sorry. This is Reddit. I almost wish they didn't do times 10. Let me kill the music real quick. No. Are they just jumping? Wait, if you do that, you skip all the fights? Chat, what on earth? I'm surprised those don't get reflected back at you. Okay, Cleo's got the tech though. Cleo said you ain't getting this for free. Okay, so this is extremely difficult, I feel. Like as much as you might say OV, this is just OP. I, I actually think this requires a decent amount of skill to do. And I get tagged. Wow, we. Does anyone make a comment about the wings of the crow jumping? Anyone? I can't be the only person on the planet who didn't know about that. Okay. The lighthouse climb, skip aside, do the same thing with... Oh, that's, that's not as good. My god. <laughs> My god. Okay, so no one's commenting on that part. You know what you're getting up to? I'm flabbergasted. What on the earth? I've been struggling on 3BC. Do I got any tips? Been trying to beat it on survival and brutality. So I feel like the worst part about... Uh... 3BC is the Rampager. Rampager is a brand new monster in 3BC. Um, I think it would actually be kind of nice if you can take like a couple runs where you start off with a shield. I want to say Rampagers start appearing in prison... No, maybe not prison quarters, but they should be in toxic sewers, right? So if you go straight to toxic sewers and try to learn how to parry the first hit, so like it rushes in to like Berserker's Barrage you. Just learn that one parry. And I think that would actually be extremely beneficial. Not only like you don't have to use the shield anymore, you know the timing now. But if you do get a shield, now you can potentially stop a Rampager in its tracks. One down, four to go. I assume that's a, uh, a BC win. Found a cheesy way to do hitless fights, lol. Oh, we're gonna be doing a run like this next week. Legendary ice armor with deck of cards. That's gonna be on the table. The weapons are gonna be a little different, but it is happening next week, I believe. Uh, they can be in prison quarters in 3BC. I know this because my first 3BC run ended that way. It's very, like that is the hurdle. Like, obviously, there's more to do because you have to beat bosses, but the Hurl of the Rampager is extremely real. They they had added that as its own patch called Fear the Rampager. That's how you know it was serious. Uh, v, it looked like they stepped up on the outer platforms and then kept hopping up and repeating. Got it. Thank you, Long. So if I copy them and give them the credit... Remember what I said earlier, you don't want to not post the credit. 
when we copy, that's what we'll do. We'll go up the side. Stormlight Archive. I'm afraid to Google what that is, but you'll get an updo anyway. All right. I hate this game sometimes. Stage Fatality. Drink up, buddy. Drink up. Oh, you didn't drink. See, this is the old V.me. Well, kind of the new one, too. You gotta drink here. It's not worth it. <laughs> All right. You're telling me that's not handcrafted? You're telling me that there wasn't a dev, level design dev. I was like, all right, all right, all right. I plotted out all of Hypey Castle. But like I put in these spikes, the spikes don't see enough play. Like they're kind of just there for design. I want you to feel the spike. So level designs, dev said, you know what? Chain directly next to it. If you get hit by it, you were looking down the whole time. You got to look up. You'll know that next time after you die. Thank you, level design dev. Thank you, level design dev. There we go. What happens when you finish a rift without opening the chest? So the stuff pops out. The necklace pops out. Anything you didn't collect pops out. I feel like you might be able to go back in and the chest might still be there. Um, if I were to say that I have done it before, that would be a lie. I've never not opened the chest. All right, let's load up the game. That was a good little Reddit session. W reacts. <laughs> Shout out to all my peeps doing W reacts. Wow, I haven't opened Steam at all today. What build are we using today? Exclamation point BOTD. This one's from Fabe. It should actually be an extremely free run. So free, we're probably going to be talking about not dead cells the whole time. I gotta restart Steam. I have this issue where I have to open Steam as administrator. Oh, maybe I don't have to do that anymore because my hard drive died. Like Steam couldn't access my F drive. And then F drive died. It's still in there. I never took it out. So now we're on V drive. V and Z. Good job, Epibot. Can you try exclamation point BOTD build of the day? Swink. Oh, that's a long one. Oh, let's turn on retro music. We haven't had retro music in a long, long time. I keep meaning to do it and I never do. Uh, the way to do that is in the main menu. Give me a... Give me a sound dev. Customize sound effects volume separately. Oh, wow. I can make the entire game silent and you can only hear the character or the weapon. What in the world? Sound effects. Sound effects reduction. Reduce the amount of sound effects played at the same time. Prioritization. Effects with higher priority will be less likely to be cut off by the sound reductions above. Holy crap. You can build an orchestra in Dead Cells. I didn't know that. That's all the new accessibility stuff.
Okay, we're going to make a little change here. Do that. This won't be real chat integration. It's going to be fake integration. Viewer, viewer. Uh, I think I need to save and then swap. Okay. So build of the day. We have random BS go. You play legendary throne objects via wish. Offhand another throne object. Use, oh, we need this. Use kill rhythm. With a scavenged bombard. What's in my other skill slot? To stunlock the enemy and electrodynamics. Does this still crash? This used to crash when you hovered over it in a uh, custom mode. And electrodynamics when you have no ammo or to kill bosses. And also use iron staff. For bosses. Okay. Very, very, very specific. Um, mutations are Wish and Kill Rhythm. Wish. Kill Rhythm. Your choice of ammo or No Mercy. So we're going to take No Mercy. Even though I wonder if No Mercy prevents you from getting ammo back. Just in case, we'll bring in Gastro. And that should be fine. And then we have a specific skin request, Aurora, from uh, X-Men. All right, all that's good. I guess I can turn on. Yeah, we can turn dual binding on for this. At least I can turn it off whenever I want. All right, let's hop in. Yo, Foshiga. Good to see you, Go. good to see you. And fish roll as well, so if I didn't say hi to you already. Can't talk all of a sudden. Do y'all ever get that? Like, you'll be perfectly fine. For, like, the entire day. And then all of a sudden, you get in front of your Twitch chat. And you're stumbling over your words. Does anyone else do that? Aurora Servant. I wonder why it's called Aurora. The only Aurora I know is Storm. Tongue tied? Absolutely. Right before a Zoom call, the clients are trying to get in touch with me, V. And I can't speak a word. I've been playing too much Dead Cells and now I can't actually talk. I get it, I get it. Uh, Probably makes more sense right now. Happens to oh my god. Happens to you sometimes. I... For those who don't know... A little bit of V.me deep lore. Growing up... I always talk extremely slow. Like... People would say robotic. Wow. None of these count. Only the zombies count. That's unfortunate. Yo, Speedy, good to see you. Speedy, I know you were playing some Dead Cells earlier. Hopefully you had a good time in the game. Uh, right now, we're about to do some V.me deep lore. I was telling the chat that I used to talk extremely slowly. I have attack. Uh, thing he's turned off. Oh, I think I have HP turned up too. Yeah, we can turn this off. 
and then give the viewer three lives. Um, did I get made fun of it? I feel like, looking back, not really. Oh, I have dual binding, that's right. We'll need this a little later. I uh, didn't even get to the first boss today because I forced bank, but it was super fun. That's good to hear. It's definitely the bank that is extremely different than old Dead Cells. It's like everything there is super dangerous and super tanky at the same time. So like, <laughs> it, I know it had to been tested, but I always wonder if like, if someone dies, let's say you're a playtester, you say to the devs, oh, by the way, like, I love this area, but I died to it. Like as the dev, do you even bother turning it down? Like, how do you know that it's too hard if the playtesters die to it? like? How much value is that? It's it is some value. It's like okay, at least we know we can kill playtesters. But I'm very curious on like how much you need to kill. How many playtesters do you need to kill before you know it's it's working or not working? I assume at some point <laughs> it's too many. Rip ammo? Eventually we're going to wish ourselves a thrown object, a yeetable. Oh, look at all this food. Um, really a unique place on Twitch where I'm not a new player climbing BCs, but also not a pro gamer hard stomping. Relearning 5 BC, which is something pretty unique, I think. Yeah, it's actually really awesome, because you're coming back, and obviously you know how to play games. So it's not like you are unfamiliar with the roguelike genre. There's a lot of people who hop into Dead Cells, um, who are kind of new to the genre, which is fine. We want Toxic. Well, Toxic might not have a weapon shop, so I think I want... I think I want Arboretum. Uh, so yeah. You know the game, but you're de-rustifying. Which is actually, I've seen a lot of people post that. Where like, de-rustify is like the content itself, and that in itself is really cool. Wow, I was missing two monsters, apparently. Okay, give me a wish. This will be a busted build, by the way, if you didn't already tell. Um, so yeah, like getting back to the original story. So, I talked really slowly when I was a kid. Um, I didn't go to like a speech therapist or I don't know if that's who actually does that work. Hello? Please! Got it. No! Um, but eventually, I want to say I grew out of it. I don't know how, like, absolutely true that is. I'm sure it happens every once in a while where I regress. And I'm talking to Buster, and it's coming out one mile an hour. And Buzz is like, get on with it. <laughs> what do you want? I'm just trying to say hi, Buster. It's messed up. Well, 
Wow, that goes through the back armor. Um, so I, I like to think that screaming has also helped with that. Overall. Um, but like I never got tongue twi- uh, twi- tongue tied when I was a kid. I just, I couldn't get the words out at all. My god. <laughs> My bad. Uh, your 60 runs deep and have it beat Hand of the King even once. I think that's okay, Jeff. Jeff, are you unlocking stuff at the same time? Spinning your cells to get, like, cool stuff? When I think about it, I imagine the viewer has, like, all these cool things that they're seeing. It's like, oh yeah, I want to unlock cool thing. And like, winning is secondary to that. In my opinion. I'm like that in a lot of games. We're okay. Winning's fun. Stuff is funner. Pretty good. Almost strong enough to kill stuff by itself. Went like 100 runs before you beat Hand the King for the first time. I wish I knew. So like, I I want to say I recorded all of my dead cells from back then. So I actually think I have all the runs. But what I don't know... Is if I like check how many runs I had when I won. So I don't have to do the work of uh, looking through all of my videos and counting them manually. Oh wow. Orbs gives me ammo back. I feel like that's not correct. pretty good every day I think I find something that needs to be reported with the deck be an awesome vid react to first runs it's possible and I always say don't kill the cringe kill the part within you that cringes Wow, we cannot get killing deck. Almost choked on your water. Same. I feel like that's a skill. <laughs> Don't nobody choke on water like I do. Uh, you'll wonder how I made it this far. Thank you. Uh, servant tips. I could watch your vids, but you're right here. Servant tips. Um, Gastro is very nice. You get like a big heal after each fight. Even if you're not playing survival. I mean, if you aren't sure what mutation you want to take. Maybe consider taking Gastro. Um, some people would say don't even worry about hitting them while you're climbing. Um, but I... I'm not completely sold on that. I think I want you to try to hit them mid-run, but only hit them with skills. Like, don't try to melee. So if you have knife dance, if you have turrets, Pop it as soon as the boss is on you and just keep moving. Owl will do it too. Um, Corrosive Cloud, also very good at doing that. They just sit and smoke on the, uh, the sauce. And 
And then ultimately, the fight itself is not dying to Cleo. But if you do the fight enough, you'll find out like what they like to do. So Cleo likes to attack first with a melee attack as soon as she spawns. So you kind of have to already be prepared for that part. I don't think you take that because I think you lose the ammo. All right, let's try this again and not screw it up. You sometimes choke on your own spit. Trying to think of when was the last time I had a self-inflicted <laughs> panic. Whenever I use power tools, I'm like overly cautious. Like it could be just like a rubber mallet. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, damage. We're dead. I'm not trying to lose my life on a freaking Looney Tunes mallet. Yo, Spectral Turnip, welcome. Happy to have you here. Wow, I actually get ammo back. Let's not screw up. Yo, Spectral Turnip! Chat. What, With the what fireworks! Happened? What happened? Yo, we can only dance thanks to Spectral Turnip. Thank you, Spectral. Appreciate it. Hope you're having a good Wednesday, if it's still Wednesday where you are. Please! I was about to say, it better not turn into a legendary amulet. Better not. Oh yeah. Hopefully the tips help. Don't grab this. Excited to watch a stream live? I've been watching YouTube for a while now. Happy to hear it. Spectral. Is this is not a pop quiz? Please don't take it that way. I would love to know what was the last vid you saw. Where you're like, okay, I gotta click the stream. I gotta follow, I gotta use my free Twitch Prime from Amazon. It was actually not a Twitch Prime. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but maybe that's you in the chat. You have a Twitch Prime. That's free. Get through here. Part of me wants to not use my wish right now and save it for like another biome. Like when it's a little stronger. I don't know if that's a throw. Certainly not going to take an appropriate amount of time. Is Wish good? So, I would say Wish is good when you have a very specific build you plan on playing that day. Otherwise, you can't really bank on what the Wish is going to do. But if I said, okay, today's the day that I'm going to do Legendary Spite Sword with Vengeance face flask survival <laughs> Then yes, I would take a wish and make that happen But with my normal gameplay the way how I play dead cells or at least pretend like I play I'd, I'd rather that show up randomly uh, Currently watching viewer build submitted seven figure I should come and sub while you were thinking about it. That is amazing spectral Holy smokes you're like the viewer that any content creator would want. Not to say that anyone else in chat is not. <laughs> v, you kind of said that. I, I didn't mean it that way, though. Um... I'm for sure not. I don't watch your videos, V. Yeah, so... We're in another really interesting spot. I gotta get back to making, like, wholly original YouTube vids. Don't grab this. I have a lot to do in 2023. I have, like, a whole... 
playbook. You know what I did? I even bought a freaking iPad. I've never had an Apple anything in my entire life. We went on Black Friday to the mall. Haven't been to the mall in basically pre-COVID. Bought an iPad to like make me plan out content. Does Wish on a colorless item do anything special or is it just a normal legendary? It turns into a normal legendary. It'd be kind of cool if, for example, if you wished and picked up a legendary, that that did something extra. Like it added a level to it. Um, but I do not believe that does anything, because I think we tested it. Oh, wow. My bad. Any survival? Survival mod check? <laughs> Mythic rare in survival? Tell the devs. They didn't know. They didn't know you wanted it. All right, again, we're trying not to pick up anything. I really want to get a like mimicked wished weapon. That'd be so nice. Here we go. I bet good notes would be an easy way to work out planning stuff. So what I did with the help of Aerilus, I downloaded Notion on the iPad. And funny enough, everyone says that the, the iPad version of Notion sucks. So like, that's fine. Really, it's just like the, the pencil. Apparently, it has like no integration with the pencil. But then again, like the whole point of me talking about an iPad for anything makes me mad. What's Notion? A drawing app? It's like a board. A database that you can make boards out of. The boards can turn into anything you want. So you can like make a database and make a calendar out of it or a to-do list, a planner, et cetera, et cetera. But it's just like data and then turn my data into something. Yo, Gugs, are you a, uh, a dev for Notion? Gug in the cup? Note-taking app? <laughs> okay. All of your answers are much better than mine. I'll admit it. Okay, I might take whatever shows up on this map and just wish that. If it's a bank now, it might be okay. But I think I have to take something. Level 9. Let's see if there's a bank. And if there's no bank, I'm just going to grab that. Nah, I don't even like it that much. <laughs> That's an iPad user right there. <laughs> There's the bank. Right on time. Terrible bank, TBH. But um, we're going to try to get a wished yeetable. And then it might take me a couple of deaths to get it. But I'm hoping we'll be okay. I think we skip the curse. Grab a weapon first. And if there's no weapon on this map, I'm going to actually rage. We were watching Rage compilations. Uh, for those who missed it, we were doing a speed run in Dead Cells. If he laughs, he resets. That might happen today. We were watching Rage compilations as our, uh, if he laughs, he resets. Goodbye. Holy crap, get destroyed. Gold Gorger. Watch me like a hawk. Also, welcome new viewers. Goss, welcome. Uh, Jobby, welcome. Happy to have you. 
Please! I didn't reach. Did it miss me? Miss me with that noise? Okay. So there's three paths. One path has the curse. One path has the shop. One path has the key. I'm going to make a guess that middle path is shop. Yo, Devin, welcome, welcome. A lot of new viewers today. Always a, uh, a pleasure. Please? It must be all the people waiting to see some League of Legends later. Okay, we... We made the right choice. Um... Tactics? I don't think it matters what we pick up because it completely changes anyway. So mimic check. Not a mimic. So we wait. Don't pick up anything. We wait until blue door. And there could be a second weapon shot. Apparently, according to YouTube, it's a 25% chance for it to be double weapon shops. Oh my god, it just got destroyed. What's up? <laughs> okay. I know what I'm doing. Oh my god, that laser line? Kinda busted? Um, how do you mimic check without buying? So, funny enough, you can click on the shop and not actually buy the item that's in it. Which is like weird, because you think it doesn't work that way, but it compares the items. So the game knows that it should do a compare first, but I whiffed that somehow. Um, the compare just spawns the mid right away. Okay, maybe I have to turn attack notifications on. I'm missing every parry. Okay, so here's our key. The key. Oh my god, I lost all of my orbs. I gotta reset. So yeah, if you don't know, you can actually just click the item. If it's a mimic, it will immediately spawn. If it does not spawn, it must be a different shop. Eat. I eat. I eat. My poor cannon just got sent for a ride. I think there's anti-synergy with this. I'm doing the parry. It's proccing foresight. So it's actually saying that I got hit. But, but that's a lie. I did it. That's super interesting. Okay, we're going a little slow. Nice. Alright, give me a weapon shot. Come on, game. You know you want it. Is it right here? Is it you? 
Oh my god, this map... It was up here the whole time. I went right by it. Alright, so once we get the weapon... This will be the actual showcase. Okay, it's not here. So we have to go and buy the other weapon. And then the showcase is now live. I don't know if any of you all do this stuff on your own time. Like if you're out there trying to build a busted V.me run. Funny enough, these are weaker than the Prison Depths weapon. Just by one level, it's not that big a deal. I'm actually really surprised about that. How do I get ammo? I didn't think about that part. I think this gives me ammo. Yo, the 8-bit theme is really good. What in the world? Yeah, rip cannon. Cannon was doing the most just then. <laughs> went, went up into the sky. No ammo? Ammo mod check. There we go, okay. So the way this is gonna work... We're dual binding, so we're already cheating. But the viewer assured me, V, this is literally just a busted build. I want you to do a podcast while you're playing Dead Cells. Am I doing this right? Sometimes the stuff doesn't die. Which is kind of messed up. I got no ammo back. Huh. Oh my god, I just lost all my orbs. <laughs> Uh, I think we'll actually get the curse when we leave. Chat? The build's not wrong. The monsters are living. But I, I didn't know they could do that. That was an unknown unknown. Uh, up? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, hear that music? Dot kills don't give me the ammo, but the actual orb killing does give me the ammo. Just very, I assume it probably should not. But it's very, very strange. Okay, I need, I need some ammo. Have one bullet to my name. Okay, a little better, a little better. Struggle Street right now. Yeah, I just wasted a bullet. You gotta think of it like we're playing Tarkov. You can't be wasting bullets. It's like the old Chris Rock um, joke. They gotta make every bullet cost $50,000. That's the only way to curb the violence. Okay, I... 
I tried. Yeah, orb counts as melee. That's exactly correct. Okay. Let's try this again. We got some ammo. I like the build. It's just I don't think it works here. Because bank is like really tanky. No. No, no ammo. No ammo, Mega Mine. I'm also wasting ammo, and that doesn't help. You little piece of crap. Alright, Celeste. Way tankier than the natural curve of the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And because we're doing a prison depth equivalent, it should be like double tankier. Alright, so that's Celeste. There might be... We still have the curse. Let's grab it. And then we should be able to leave. Yeah, I agree. This was a waste, but not if you're running Wish. Because, like, getting a Mimic Wish weapon is, like, pretty sick. This is, like, the only time I would come here on purpose. Where in the world is the ch Oh, it's over there. I don't know what Wish does, V. <laughs> it's the gray mutation I have. Gray means good. Uh, what it does is the next weapon you pick up becomes legendary. Um, but just like YOLO, it locks you. I have changing your mutations. Alright. I think we're good. Only took me a year to get through that and actual panic attacks. There's a lot of map left, but we should not do it. And never die the bank curse, it's the uber elites that get you. You're telling me that you aren't getting uber elites while you're cursed? Buy some lottery tickets. That's some good luck. And or maybe I have the good luck because I'm finding them. It might just be that I go too far ahead. And that's when it gets actually dangerous. I gotta play patient. Take it easy. Be okay. Sweary. So thinking about the monsters I'm fighting. I feel like Moras is best, but Conjunctivius has ads. So maybe I want to see Conjunctivius. Alright, looking good, people. Don't step in the water. Like I'm throwing glow sticks. Imagine if there were spikes right there. Chat, if you did the down slam, give me a Y in the chat. If you did a down slam into spikes while cursed right here, would you rage quit or would you play again? Would you keep going? Y in the chat if you rage quit. In the chat if not, V. I, I'm fine. I'm fine. We're not tilted. Copium. I'll play again. We're fine. A lot of people say that they're going to keep playing. I'm not saying people are, you know, trying to save face. It's okay. 
If you... If you uninstall... I, I think it's fine. I think it's allowed. Because that's bullcrap. Okay, I think we're holding down the square button a little too much. Just tap it. That's all you need to do. Just tap it. At this point, I've done so much, I don't mind. That's a good feeling. Not everyone's like that. Take the next game we're going to play after today's run, League of Legends. You lose five times in a row, some people would say, I'm never playing League again. Other people, you lose five times in a row, that just means the next game, the sixth game, that's a win. It, it has to be. <laughs> There's no way around it. You gotta win. At some point. <laughs> Ooh, sick iframes. League is a team game. What if my team makes me not win my sixth game? It's, okay, so this is your team, right? You're playing League of Legends. You have top lane on the far right, mid lane in the center. Your jungler is right here. And then this poison is the bot lane. Right now, bot lane made me lose my V.60. But if I just get hit by the spikes anyway, then whose fault is it really? Right? They didn't put the spikes there. Those are my spikes. That's my responsibility. <laughs> right? Yo, Yak, welcome. Happy to have you here. Yeah, this is a viewer build, Yak. I should actually set the um the thingy. There we go. Just blame the team in every game. It will be right at least 50% of the time. Ooh. I should have had you all try secret. If you smell poo everywhere you go, look under your shoe. No, it's somebody else. Whoever smelt it, dealt it. It wasn't me. Uh, those spikes are like a 6-0 Kai'Sa, ulting onto you after getting first turret bot. Kai'Sa with enough money to go Zonya's. So even if she messes up, the enemy... Enemy Kha'Zix is like right around the corner, just waiting for you to uh, try to stay on the Kai'Sa. Waiting to protect the Kai'Sa, protect the carry. For those who have no idea what we're talking about, I play a lot of League of Legends. I just don't play it on stream until today. Today, you may as well call it April Fool's Day. Though there was a point where I, I considered dedicating one day a week to like competitive games. Call it like Try Hard Thursday. Or um... Can, does anyone have a W word for a competitive game Wednesday? What, what's the W word? Try Hard Tuesday sounds better. But we have V. Dot, v Try Me on Tuesday. Winmo Wednesday. W Wednesday. Not bad. Any bread? Almost thought this was another curse. 
Oh, we can probably get a free one. Because I have to save my money for health pots. As you see, I have deleted all my health pots. Not on purpose. Dubs day? <laughs> okay, that's, that's kind of clean. Not even kind of, it's actually clean. Only time I raged at this game is why I got hit by Mushroom Boy in Scarecrow fight. If there wasn't a Mushroom Boy, you would have gotten the no hit. I have had almost the exact thing happen to me. Because like you do the fight for so long, you don't even remember that there's anything but the Scarecrow and then the bounce pads. Like I very rarely have to think about the Mushroom Boys because they're usually dying to like a turret or to like poison, burning oil, etc. So the one time I don't have a build that automatically kills the Mushroom Boy is the one time it kills me. Just one tap. All you need. No double tap. It's already dead. Save the ammo. Might be a scav around the corner. Ooh, that was dangerous. I don't know why it... Like, was a struggle for me to climb up there. Uh, Jupiter. How's it going? Been a long time. Yo, I hope you're doing well, Jupiter. I'm having a great time, actually. Today was another day. I don't know why. I was a little nervous going live. Now that we had, like, anything bad going on. But, you know, every once in a while, you second-guess yourself. Is, is today the day? Or is today a skip? Um, but like I said, usually if I do go online, even if I considered skipping the day, I typically felt better once I went live. I don't know the phenomena, phenomenon that does that. Uh, amulet. I think we're probably good to go. I feel like I didn't get all the food on the map. There's a few more things to kill. Let me check if anyone has food. Like two folks right here. You may not know this, but you're single-handedly responsible for my own Twitch channel. Yo, smacked. That's honestly. I feel like that's probably the best way to get into content creation is you had someone that you watched. And was like, okay, I want to do that right there. See, it's always one. Free food on the table. Don't leave it as a hand-me-down. Don't just starve for absolutely no reason. Take the food. That's what it's there for. If you don't eat it, it's going to get thrown away. It's gonna be outside in the dumpster behind Dunkin' Donuts. Free food. <laughs> Just don't get caught. Yo. Oh, good to see you smacked. So I know the viewer said, use the iron staff on bosses, but I almost feel like I don't have to. Might be a copium. I wonder what I can roll on this. If I roll now, I lose the ammo, so let's just chill. Cover the ground with the oil that burns. Bonus the burning target. 100% happening. Oh, what about stun target? Yeah, bonus to stun target. Okay. Yo, Khan! For those who don't know, like, Khan, how in the world do you have 60? No. Oh my god, we've really upped that number. That goalpost has been moving for like a year. It started off at 69,000 V-Bucks. It's now up to 
120,000. You may wonder, like, how in the world did someone get 120,000? Khan is, like, the ultimate in the Lurk Nation. Thank you, Khan. I, I always see you there. I, I don't like to call out the Lurkers, because I know you might be chilling. You might have the cat in your lap. I don't want to disturb the cat. But I definitely appreciate that. It takes me a while to do this because I don't really know how to get to it every time. Because this is so rare. Viewer rewards. Community role manager. That's what it is. Con of trolls. With a bear icon. Is that right? It is. Okay. Okay. There you go, Khan. You got the hookup. Thank you for that. Ongoing support. Beautiful. All right. We got a boss situation. Do it, boy. Go. Cheers. Heart. Good luck. Apparently, we had L1 and L2 as well, where you all could tell me where to go. I didn't know that. All right, this has got to be an easy clap, right? This boss can't even move. Just stick with it. Right here, right here. Okay, that looked extremely cool, but I'm tapped out. <laughs> That's all I had. <laughs> oh, rip no hit. I forgot I had dual bind. Does this have ammo? I doubt it, right? Please! Come back! Come back! Alright, get him! Cannon! <laughs> cannon, attack! My cannon's AFK! What's it doing? Cannon sleep? Cannon said no elk? Though it's extremely interesting that I can kill these with just the orbs. <laughs> okay, we did it. We only had to smack it twice. Everything else was all yeetable. You didn't know you could do that. I didn't know you could do that. Only the viewer knew. The viewer is Fabe, I believe. Okay, I need this back. Level 9. Double scroll. Double. Uh, you all are saying go graveyard? That's actually a good choice here. Because Graveyard has rats in it. Easy ammo, easy life. We're farming rats for the banana clip. Do I still need no mercy? And eh, it's fine. For all I know, no mercy breaks my, uh... Maybe it doesn't. Worth a check. Let me try getting gastro. And see if I can still kill. Because gastro can give me damage buffs. 
I just like how the word boy is a celebratory term, Lamau. And I want to say if you type it in, it's B-O-I. Did anyone try it? All right, give me two. Give me a two. Did I get shot? <laughs> I didn't see. All right, L1, L2, L3. Give me the special. The chat special. It's a rare opportunity where chat tells me where to go. We got double yeetables. That means we can fight anything. Someone said I can remove screen shake. Critical. Disable screen shake. Where in the world would that be? Gameplay? We did video. Maybe it's an accessibility thing? Oh. Disable gameplay slowdown. Disable gameplay slowdown. We should already have that disabled. Yeah. Okay, so that one's fine. Our last stream, you said something along the lines of always go giant. As of today, we're not going giant. This is the viewer's build, so if we lose this, who's to blame? <laughs> no, to be fair, I don't know if the giant cares about this build. Because like, you're wasting all your ammo on the fist. And you don't get that ammo back either. And you can't really use the, um, the staff on the eyeball. So like, that's technically the one time you shouldn't go giant. V, does that mean I go Scarecrow? Eh, I didn't say all that. It looks so weird now without the screen shake. Do y'all see that? It's almost like the monsters are in 3 FPS. And that's not actually what's happening. That's so weird. Do I prefer the screen shake? Why in the chat, if we bring back screen shake in the chat of no V, my eyes hurt? Please keep it like this. Fifty-fifty. Alright, we had a new person say keep it like this, so... <laughs> I, I think that's the priority. Not to say that any viewers better than any others, but when you have a new chatter, that's, that's, maybe it is very important. Screen shake, please. We'll do that on my own time. Monk, uh, V dot shake. I think we have that as an emote. V dot shake. Health pot. Nope. Uh, we should make sure we have enough monsters for the curse. Looks like we're going this way anyway. Look at the PowerPoint slideshow. That's so weird. <laughs> it's like I'm watching an old Flash game whenever I hit the monster. Only when the screen shake is turned off do you notice that. Wee. Wee. V, I didn't know you could duck that. Me neither. <laughs> I, I learned that at the same time you did, which is just now. Curse? 
Give me a not a curse? Wow. Okay. Perhaps this way? My life is screen shake. I can't turn it off. I V dot shake. For the fun of it, really. It's like a new TikTok dance. V dot Harlem shake. Shoutouts if you're old enough to know what that is. Uh, it is stronger. Electrify damage, sure. We have forty thousand dollars. It's fine. Uh, if I submit a viewer build, when would it likely be played? So if you go to exclamation point build list, I want to say that there is one build in the queue for next week, which means the next build after that is the next Wednesday, the twenty fifth. V, do you really have a calendar up there? Yes. I just redid the calendar today for January. Even the hit register on the monster, some have like really fun animations that I never knew existed. So like that grappler does like a kind of hit. I didn't know that. Sick? V, you gotta hook me up with this build. How do I see the build? Exclamation point, B-O-T-D. Hook yourself up before they nerf it. V, would they really nerf this? Nah, this is dual bound. I'm already cheating. Dual bound plus wish plus L plus ratio. No way this gets nerfed. That's where you're looking this whole time. Yes. It's a dry erase calendar. It's on the wall. I just put that up like two months ago. Basically, me and Airless were trying to decide like how do we keep track? of stuff. <laughs> we are very good at just doing things spontaneously. How do we like not do that? Okay, we bought a dry erase board, calendar. I got off Amazon. I'll put the link in the chat with the affiliate code for the hashtag ad. Um, and now I'm writing game releases on it and like any events that I have. So like Friday the 13th, I have a stream elements meeting. And then I haven't filled in the game releases. But today was Lone Ruin. Um, I could have put like League of Legends ranked up there. B-O-T-D, sorry. B as in build of the day. These are level 9. This can do damage to stun target. Mine already did, but that's super interesting. So it's got kind of self synergy if you throw it twice. All right, where are we going? Undying Shores. When was the last time I've been to this map? Mm-mm-mm. We're fine. No big deal. Food shop. Weird that it doesn't have the shop icon. They're all just blank. It's interesting. I'll submit the build eventually. Do you know what you're going to build? Jaunt. You don't have to spoil it. If you're trying to keep it secret so no one steals your thunder. You might log in next week and see, oh, oh my god, someone stole my build. And submit it before I could. But like if you're if you're okay with that, if you wanna tease us, maybe you can do that. Am I tripping? 
Oh, it's the one at the bottom. I didn't see it. It's fine. I just want to top off. And then we'll sell whatever food we find next for Gastro. All right, shout out to all of my Undying Shores gamers. This one's for you. All my Undying Shores hopefuls and would-bes. I have a bill to submit when you can afford it. Yeah, and honestly, predictions are like one of the best ways to afford it. Flaming Trail Groot damage. I think we're doing stun damage. I didn't do a prediction today because it's a little weird to do a prediction if I think the build is Giga Busted. And you all may have like a better idea about it. Um, but I don't really know how to do anything besides... Will I get the no hit or not? Which, if the build's busted, there should be a no hit. Or what will the next legendary be? Which... Like, yeah, it kind of works with this, but I only have, I have no shields, no bows. I just have these two weapons and these two skills. So like the odds of one showing up over the other, I feel like is kind of high. How's Buster doing? This might be a rare... Hang on, hang on. A rare... Chance... To put on cat cam. I haven't been able to do this in a while. Alright, boom. Boom. Maybe not? Is cat cam broken? Let me check one quick thing. This will confirm if cat cam is broken or not. Live streamer cam 315. It is that one. Huh. Sorry, I uh I can't get cat cam to activate. I think it sees the cam, but it's like not turning on, which means I have like some other camera turned on, which is interfering with it. Sorry about that. But he's just sleep right there. Oh my god, I break the thing's back. Things gotta see a chiropractor. Maybe I'm the chiropractor. We're out here realigning spines in undying shores. Handcrafted. Okay, so Gastro is giving us 37%, no, 60, no, 32% bonus damage. Sorry, I just named off eight different numbers. 6 BC in 2023 confirmed? Maybe. The devs did say that 2023 is going to be their best year. I don't know if that means 6 BC, though. We know part of it is Castlevania DLC. But I honestly have no idea what the other piece could be. I think they already confirmed there's no hopeful multiplayer. Like the code is just too old and won't support multiplayer. Um, so besides that, I, I don't know what else there could be. 
then again, I certainly didn't expect Castlevania DLC, so... What do I know? Stun? Electrical? Electrical's good. If I could get both stun and electrical, that would be great. Really? You're just gonna break. Just like that. Alright. It's kinda dirty. They released 3D open world Dead Cells. Dead Cells Elden Ring. Would you all play that? Dead Cells Elden Ring? Why in the chat if you would play it? And in the chat of Navi, that sounds like... That sounds sucky. Sounds like some actual BS. I won't... You won't catch me dead playing Dead Cells Elden Ring. Huge Y. Basically, just make Elden... No, make Dead Cells. Seamless. Almost like Hollow Knight. No transitions. But then again, if it's a roguelite... What, what happens if you die? In Hollow Knight, you just respawn. There's no respawning in Dead Cells. It'd be kind of cool if, like, your cells were your life. It's like if you run out of cells, the game restarts. I don't... I don't know if people would buy that. Like, an open-world game with permadeath? I don't know. I like the idea of, like, the whole game is available to you. I'm sold on that. <laughs> the whole game just uninstalls for you. Alright, you died 60 hours into the game and lost everything. We're gonna do you a favor. You, you don't even know you wanted this. Trust us. You want to uninstall. 100%. Third imposter? Did you all see that? <laughs> Sussy? How? I'm mad for the failed experiment. That's messed up. That's a bullcrap. Hardcore Pad of Exile does exactly that. And people play that? Streamers play it, but they play it because they're getting paid. Normal people are playing Path of Exile Hardcore. I don't know if I believe that. I think it's a bot made by the devs. It's fun. <laughs> but you don't have to buy it. I think that's the other issue. You would have to buy, unless they make Dead Cells Elden Ring free to play. Okay, hear me out, hear me out. What is this? Is that a bug? I think that's a legendary tombstone. Because tombstone didn't actually... Tombstone's not in the set. So I think that has to be a legendary. But I don't think you can access that. I think if you jump down there, you get hurt. Someone died there? We'll find out. Huh. Okay. Okay. Devs, I really, really don't think you can get that. Now, if Mad Design Dev made a way to get up there, you're not gonna tell me this is not handcrafted. There's no way. That's gotta be a bug. 100% that's not accessible. 
I bet map design devs in the chat right now begging for someone to figure out how to get this item. I think if you fall, you take damage. Yeah, see? I don't think you can shield your way out of it either. Balls don't chunk your health bar. No, it deals like a percent amount. And I think the percent amount changes for some reason. I don't know what it is, but the maximum percent is 30. So I took 15 twice just then for some reason. It's gotta be a bug. I don't think that's accessible. Like, maybe if I had an assault shield, we could maybe get up there? Wings of the Crow could do it. But nothing else is gonna give me a boost like that. I think you could grab that if you double jump from the bottom, throw head. I don't think the head can grab off the altar. I think we tried that already. With, um, altars that spawn in spikes. And it doesn't work. Oh, please. I really don't even have the time to do that. Chat, I think it's cursed. Parry the fall damage with Cocoon. I think it sends you back up. So it's like the fall damage is almost... a rewrap around the map. So, like, if you pass through this section, it's not like a laser line. Laser lines are different. Where you could parry it, and then I think you still get reset, but... Point is that that is like a map rewrap that sends you back to a certain point, rather than, like, you pass through. <laughs> I wanted to believe. And I'll keep reading chat if someone has like a really good idea before I dip out. I'll try it, but I'm very, very much convinced it's not possible. I just wasted a bunch of my gastro too. Dual feathers like the video we watched? True. Oh, uh, that's a reward for taking the F tier Wings of the Crow. Only true Wings of the Crow gamers can get that. And it's a tombstone too, so it's actually really good. <laughs> oh, level design dev. I tried my best. I really did. I have no freaking ammo. Alright. Scarecrow. Scary crow. Scar E crow. It's like E-boy or E-girl, but it's E-crow. Sorry about that. Um, so V.B Deep Lord. We have two cats. We have V.Dot Cozy and V.Dot Cry. That's Buster and River. 
Um, Buster's normally good. The only thing he does is like while we're streaming, he'll try to like get into the stream somehow. River does not do that. River's bad habit, toxic trait, if you will, is she goes after human food. So if you leave human food out, she will actually climb whatever it takes to get to it. And she's like a 50 pound cat. She really, really does not need human food. Trust me. Okay. That's all I had. We're tapped out. It would be really cool if something gave me ammo. Wait, 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 wait. Let letters yeah. let him spawn. Oh, I'm not getting the ammo. I think the only way to do that. What are you doing? Is if I hit a mushroom boy. I say rip no hit. Okay, I mean that works, but it would have been so much cooler if I, again, someone asked V, do you die to the mushroom boys? Because I do sometimes. That is the only time I want mushroom boys and I can't have them because my turret is doing burn the ground with burning oil. That's killing the mushroom boys. I don't want it to. I want to actually kill them myself. And I couldn't. It's kind of toxic. Pacifist mode? I've always wanted to do a pacifist run in Dead Cells, but I could never figure out what would make like a true pacifist run. Like, does this count? Yo, sick. Double the legendaries, double the pogs. You think that counts as a no hit, having the orbs? Does Owlet count as a no, as a pacifist? Bonus to stun. All right, cash of votes, people. L1 or L2. IP castle, be smart. L2, be the opposite of smart. I'm not saying anyone in my chat's the opposite of smart. You're all geniuses. I'm just saying. You got options, people. <laughs> you got options. Dual shield, only parry bosses, no damaging powers. I feel like parry isn't pacifist either. Maybe if I hold the button down, that is maybe pacifist. Double pet. That's staffy, you can't do owl. Staffy plus serenade. Hmm. Does blocking deal damage? Yes, a small amount. Um, some weapons do more damage than others when you hold block. Run off color shield so you don't kill the monster. Like ice shield and force shield. Force shield probably mandatory. So you all ask for distillery. I have no ammo. Is that legit? Oh, we got ammo. Why does one have a bunch of ammo and the other does not? What in the world? 
Are you all not sharing your ammo? Oh, we found an enemy that won't die to this. Test tubes. That's new tech, I didn't know. Five things I wish I knew. Dead Cells busted build hunter. The test tube is legit. Is this really the wrong way? Wow, it is. Alright. They... They put a scroll behind that? You don't even have to get the barrel to get out of this place. But if you don't get to the barrel, you might lose a scroll. Interesting, interesting. Sometimes I skip the barrel completely. Like, I don't even go this route. Uh, test tubes get wrecked by cards. Ooh, I haven't played cards since the DLC came out. I did a showcase for a killer deck, and I have not played it since then. I'm not saying it's bad, it's just it never shows up in a viewer build, and it doesn't show up in, like, draft or anything. Okay. I know how to play this game. Uh, do you count scrolls per map? Or would you just skip the scroll if it spawned? Um, I definitely don't count them. So if it spawned here, the only way I would know is from Explorer's Instinct. Which is why Explorer's is, like, so important. Um, if it was there and I saw it with Explorer's, I would go for it. Because I feel like, okay, so from a viewer perspective, if you were watching a stream and the streamer skipped the scroll, what what would you do? I feel like you, the viewer, would question that, right? And I'm telling you, don't question it everywhere. Not everyone wants to be questioned when they play games. I want you to question me. Wait, is that the strat? Should I start skipping scrolls? To drive engagement? I never skip curse? Yeah, Zalassin. Zalassin gets it. Is this... What is this? Wait, how, how do I access that? Is this handcrafted? Handcrafted distillery puzzle? Maybe not? Bruh button. Oh, I think I had that. Hang on, hang on. Chat, hear me out. Then just drop it. <laughs> Free that! You didn't know. You didn't know until today you could do that. You were doing distillery the hard way. You gotta use your head, literally, figuratively, spiritually. Is vampirism any good? Jeff? I won't say vampirism will get you like a 5 BC win, or anybody for that matter. Um, what I will offer you, the one build that I unironically take vampirism is Swift Sword builds. If I get Swift Sword, I will very highly recommend taking a vampirism. Maybe Iron Staff as well. It's a little tougher because Iron Staff gives you back... 12% of your life and you lost 20%. But I feel like it makes a lot more sense to run that than Sickle, for example. I feel like Sickle might not be super great. Why am I not killing this stuff? No! No! 
高普。It's sent back to me. Why were there two? Read that. I have 31 scrolls, but I swear I'm doing no damage. I run Van. Swift Sword until I roll Speed Face Flask. That's a $20,000 Face Flask. That's the Black Lotus of uh, Dead Souls items. Uh, you can do that with the bombs with Head. Yes, I. Anytime I need a bomb, I try to use Head. Oh my god, this was a dead end? For me, head is like the most consistent way to deal with this stuff. And like, you can just sit here and it snaps to it. It's like super convenient. I kill this. We're kind of in the zone where I need a oh, health flask to drop. Well, not health flask, but whole food. Sorry, someone was saying that they didn't mean killer deck, they meant the actual diverse deck. Still really good at killing stuff. That the cards, not the cards, the Yeetables cannot. No indicators is messed up. That's the only way we're gonna get into gold in League of Legends. No indicators in dead cells. Very important. Big map. Um, and find my luck yard. No, found my lucky ant. Welcome, happy to have you here. New viewer, new chatter. Um, I can now do that. And what kind of builds are good for 1BC? So my only worry about giving people builds to beat 1BC is that you might get into 2BC and then possibly die there. I'm not saying that you're dying because like you didn't learn anything in 1BC. I feel like 1BC is still a great place to explore and get all of your runes, all the routes unlocked. Because like as you get further on in the game, you'll want to take like different routes. And I feel like the best time to do that is in 1BC. Because 2BC is hard enough as is. Forget trying to learn new stuff. I'm over here trying to not freaking die in 2BC. So, basically, explore every biome, the biomes that you have not been to or the ones you've died to, go back to them. Get all of your runes, and full clear the maps in 1 BC. You can consider skipping stuff later, but for right now, I'd say full clear. Scary. So messed up. Like, I want to make the scary no more parties in LA joke, but now you can't because it's freaking Kanye. Is the malaise good yet? V, wake me up when malaise is good. I can't stand to see you like this. Ooh, if this was a curse, that would have been so bad. Oh, you all have to cast your votes. Between Lighthouse and Throne Room. Um, just as a heads up, you cannot get your ammo back in Lighthouse. If we go there, 
What's in the banana clip right now is the rest of the game. And we won't ever get it back. If we go hand the king, he does have ads. So we can get ammo that way. And then spoiler also has ads. So like, I hate to manipulate the route, but just giving you all an idea. Still choose whatever you want. At least, like, the viewer who submitted this... If this was to go up on YouTube, for example, I want to make it clear that there's a right place to go. Sup? Hit me. Nice try, sucker. Later, sucker. I did not see that something spawned. 5532! Not half bad if you ask me. A lot of money. Malay's looking fresh. Like a nice bowl cut fade. No more monsters? Ah, oh, there's some. If there's food in there, it's not worth it. I should just use the health pot. If I'm not stressed about it. Okay, so watch the throne. Crap. So watch the throne is another album from Kanye, <laughs> but it has Jay Z on it. So I feel like it's okay. Maybe it's not okay because he's still gonna get the royalties. All right, I take it back. It's not watch the throne. It's something else. Alright. Looking good, chat. Our gastro is kind of useless. Maybe we'll swap back to kill rhythm. Uh, why would you kill all mobs? Because I'm also in BC1 and I don't know much about the game. So, every map... Oh, well, okay. Maybe I should say every map. But if there is a blueprint on the map for a new item... It may not spawn off the first one you kill, it may spawn off the last one. What's really interesting, in Dead Cells, the map is generated, and where it places the blueprint that's new could be any of those monsters. And for all you know, the blueprint you need to beat B B 1BC is on one of those monsters. That's why I feel like it's important to also unlock a good amount of stuff. An amount that makes you feel confident in your gameplay. Um, but then as someone else said, there's gold that drops on the monsters to do upgrades. There's um, food that drops so you don't have to use a health pot so much. Monsters could have legendaries on them. If they have a star above their head, that means that they either will drop a scroll or they could drop a legendary, which could also win the game for you. A lot of stuff to it. Or at least I like to believe there is. Hand of King. With a visit from Buster. What? Oh my god. What happened to my electrodynamics? I just lost them. He just blocked that. Give me some poison. Okay, that gave me one electrodynamic. We got a few back. I swear I didn't hit the button. Crap, I keep forgetting the block. 
All right, chat, I think we tapped out. It's unfortunate, but... I think there was a way to do this without getting rid of the, the yeetables. That's okay. Again, this is all brand new to me. It's not like I have done this build before. This is new tech. If I still had the Electro, it would have been a little easier, I think. Hold on a minute. Hand isn't supposed to be able to be stunned. Is that a bug? It's not getting stunned, I think. So a lot of the bosses can be displaced. We're going to use League of Legends terms once again. I apologize to everyone who hates me talking about League of Legends, but we will be playing League right after this run. Um, so displacement is what I consider like knocking back the enemy. And a lot of bosses will reset their attacks if they're displaced. Mamatic does it. Timekeeper does it. That's why you've seen people solo bosses with um, Spartan Sandals. It's because Spartan Sandals doesn't stun. It displaces them. Constantly. So you could just kick spam Time Killer and Time Keeper and she will die. Ouch. Um, so yeah. It's not really getting stunned. It's more so that it's just resetting its attack over and over again. So maybe there's a world where I don't spam the yeetables. I, I like, time them. V, my schedule's been nuts and haven't been able to be live for a while. It's not you, it's me. Brian, I appreciate you letting us know that you're doing well. Happy to have you here, even just to say hi. It's fantastic. There we go. I was just waiting on that. A little aggressive. B, don't ever do that again. Okay, we're back in the driver's seat. So, see, the bird can't be stunned either. Instead, it's getting knocked back. I thought I was going to lose a camera. No, oh, triple green! Triple green! Hi. What are you doing? Oh, you all can't even see. I changed my uh, microphone setup, so technically he can, he can probably be on the desk, but it's probably not a good habit. I'm really considering changing the stream setup. Um, I might try to change it up on Sunday, so by like next week, we might have a different webcam setup, and the green screen will go away. And I hope you all like it. If you do, please let me know because streaming's hard if I haven't already said that. Um, and you get a little self-conscious about what you're doing on streams. So getting the positive feedback that, oh V, the new setup looking fresh. Oh, I lost my orbs again. Very, very helpful. If you try crouching from the flying birds, you avoid all damage. I want to say my number one clip on twitch.tv is ducking the bird. Oh, okay. The flying bird, which is the bomber? I think its name is bomber. Not like the bluebirds, for those who might be confused. 
That was supposed to have gotten fixed. Um, if what you're saying is that it has not been fixed, I am not going to be the one to report it. I already did. I'm going to assume the devs are saying, well, if no one else cares, we'll leave it as is. Only V.me would think to duck. As a matter of fact, I didn't even know there was a down button. I thought down just put you down the ladder. Sorry, one second, everybody. Buster, what do you want? Oh, Brendan! Holy smokes! Let's take a look at that. Blast from the past. Firefox. Okay. Okay, you come over here. We got some testing to do. So that's a dodge. Mm hmm. Yo, I don't need. He can. My number one clip. I think we posted that on Reddit too. Farming some karma. Good stuff. Okay, you come over here. Are, are bombers in prison quarters in five BC? But why is this thing even here? What in the world? We got some testing to do. So that's a dodge roll. This is not training roll. Yo. I don't need... He can... Not bad. Not bad. That's old tech. Spawn from malaise? I guess that's true. Three three five. V dot me the hair that was purple at one point. We did a charity drive, and one of the charity incentives, if we got to like a thousand dollars or something, I would dye my hair purple. Um, so that's when it's all bled out. That was a long time ago, and I think about it. Someone asked, what's the build? You can do exclamation point, B-O-T-D, build of the day. Get the deets. Use it before it's nerfed. Devs are watching right now. We know that because they spawned a uh, tombstone that I couldn't pick up. Neymar here? Neymar? What's Neymar? Is that Portuguese? Uh, yeah, the legendary affix. Um, if this thing kills, you recover your base ammo. So it can only recover three. It cannot recover the whole six. Neymar is the Brazilian footballer. How do I know it was something Brazilian? It doesn't even sound like a Brazilian word. Neymar. Is it spelt like that? Or does it have like the, the special Brazilian letters? Like the C with the little tail on it? Is it one of those kind of words? V, you're a, a genius when it comes to Brazilian. Oh my god, I'm trying not to kill my orbs. It's Neymar just like I said. With no special Brazilian letter. <laughs> okay. Special Portuguese letters. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 
That's the NA education. <laughs> it's hard out there. No little C with the tail? That's messed up. I love the C with the little tail on it. We don't have stuff like that in English. We have just boring letters. Like, we don't have the big B. Does anyone know the big B from, uh... Is that... German? You all told me what it's actually named. It's not called Big B. It's something else. But, uh... <laughs> I don't know what it is. We don't have stuff like that. All I know is D colon. <laughs> Let me show you all some tech. Don't abuse this, by the way. We don't, we don't want the devs to know about this. That's between me and you only, and the speedrunners who invented it that I stole it from. It, it's the, the sheesh. <laughs> oh, I can't do the high-pitched voice. Like, I want to say sheesh. Like the TikTokers, but... My voice doesn't go very high. Yeah, see? You get it, you get it. Just imagine. Imagine I have a high-pitched voice. Double green, double red. Haley's real name, for example, was actually Edson Arantes do Nascimento. Born, that's excellent trivia. Also, RIP to Pele, right? Didn't he pass away like just this month or maybe last month? I think I saw that on the news. American news. 29th, thank you. What about falsetto? So... And I've been toying with the idea, I made a joke about it one day where I was like, I need to take acting classes or something. Like, the one thing that I'm missing out on, besides like, a, a cool streamer room, cat cam, all of that stuff. If you ask any like, big streamer, what's the next thing B.me should do, he should go to acting school. Once I go to acting school, I'll do the she. With the high-pitched voice. Otherwise, I, I can't hit that note. It's not possible. You don't just... do that naturally. You gotta learn. So pretty young. Died to Cancer Sag. I had a doctor's appointment today. It's... It's so funny. Because, so I go to the doctor, and obviously, we just said cancer, obviously it's not funny, but... I just want to paint, like, the picture of how this story is gonna go. Um, so I had my doctor's appointment today. And I only go to the doctor once a year, if that. And I only started going to the doctor, like, three years ago. So I was probably not going to see a doctor for probably 20 years straight. So, whenever I go to the doctor, I want to get my time's worth. I want him to, like, do every single diagnosis. I want him to be Dr. House. I want to leave the, uh, the med center. Knowing that my doctor knows more about me than I do. Has seen parts of me that I didn't even know was there. That's how much I want to know that my doctor's invested. And, like, he's good, but I feel like he tries to, like, shoo me out the door. Like, okay, yes, I, I see you. You look fine. I'll see you next year. <laughs> it's like, dude, I just walked in. It's been five minutes. <laughs> I'm paying you for an hour. I want every, I want a CAT scan, I want an MRI, and I want an X-ray all at the same time. 
Just like point each one in each direction. I told. <laughs> I'm pissed. <laughs> uh, is there gonna be Symphony? That will be on Monday. If the Dead Cells DLC doesn't somehow drop on Monday. This is really big. V, that was such a good story. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> like I said, little streamer 101, just try to make yourself laugh. If no one laughs in the chat, it doesn't matter because you're laughing. If you don't get a plus two, it's okay because you might get a plus, a minus two later. Doctors don't like MRI, other scans, because they give radiation. All I'm saying is that I better leave that... Okay, I'm not gonna make that joke. All I'm saying is that I, would, I need to be there longer than five minutes. <coughs> Holy crap. Uh, new barricade? Uh, I don't really have a lot of money. We'll keep what we have. You say that to my GF? She's a radiology student or whatever the heck you call that. She scans people with x-ray. And the doctors just order the stuff. Like, they- alright, you have a cold? Give her a CAT scan. They don't care. That's the- I have the wrong doctor. I need the doctor that just gives you random stuff to do. Like, blood work, foot work, eye work, brain work, lung work. I want the whole smorgasbord. I only go once a year. If it's expensive, just don't get Taco Bell for the rest of the year. And to be fair, the doctor probably said to do that. And I'm not, I'm not doing it already. So, <laughs> it's his fault. <laughs> he gave me the CAT scan. Then I would have my freaking Taco Bell next year. All right, so spoiler boss, we are at the final boss of Dead Cells. After this run, we will be next game get over to League of Legends for their new ranked season. If you don't want to see League of Legends, if you're only here for the Dead Cells segment, follow the channel. We are doing Dead Cells like twice a week. Uh, we'll next be on on Saturday, I believe. Saturday we do, I think it's draft plus marbles and maybe we'll do some boss rush. Uh, follow for all the other roguelikes we do, sub to help support the channel. I'm not a full-time streamer. I, at my day job's right over there, around the corner. And then I come over here, and then I play games. And do guides and stuff like that. Uh, but for now, we have a boss fight to do. Don't want to see the spoiler back out now. We will come back to Dead Cells. Hopefully. I don't uninstall. Yuck! Chat. What, what happened? What Holy smokes. happened? Thank you for that T1. I appreciate it, Yak. Welcome to Rusty Daggerhood. Population U. I wonder... Does that shoot? No? I thought maybe we could get like a cheesy hidden. So this is gonna be kind of weird. I have no idea how many shots I can get in. I really don't want to use the uh, Iron Staff. Even if this ends up being a long drawn out fight, I would, I'd rather not use the Staff if I can help. Him. Out of ammo? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That actually knocked me backward. I got interrupted. Alright, we can get some ammo back. Kill you. Farm there. Oh, crap. I missed. Hmm. 
Not efficient. I believe. Oh, no indicators? Uh oh. All right, give me another ad phase. <laughs> I got a farm. Please. <laughs> give me some ads. This is the ads. Give me the ads. Dude, what? No ad phase? That sucks. Rip turret. Come on. So no ad phase means that the damage was actually not that bad. I have played worse builds than that. Apparently. Like, I literally could not use my primary attacks. I, he died purely from Electro and Turret. I, I am very surprised. Is that Electro? Is Electro busted? Where would you be without me? That's toxic. You know what he's saying? He says, V, all your followers, all your YouTube subscribers, your Twitter, your TikTok, where would you be without me? Get that crap out of here. <laughs> it's not just about you. Oh my goodness gracious. That was a build and a half. I think Electro is very strong. If Electro could solo the boss like that without me having to press other buttons, that's special. And sure, this is custom mode, so we're using like the highest level, best in class Electro that we can. If you're not playing custom mode, it's very, very hard to get Electro um, because it doesn't show up in shops. So I, I don't think it needs to be nerfed. If anything, just remove the fact that it does melee damage. Because it should not be giving me open wounds or melee mutation and anything like that. But that's just me. If they want to do anything, it's all on them. If they don't, then you know what? I'm happy with that. Yo, that's a build and a half. Thank you to Fabe for submitting that build. If you want to submit your own build, exclamation point viewer build in the chat. That's how you do it. Um, our next viewer build is on Wednesday. It's it's not Yox build. It's it's someone else. It's actually a curse sword run. Very very interesting. I did not deny the request. We're going to play it out because I actually found the build to be extremely interesting. Um, but for now, we're gonna next game it. We're going to do something that I've always joked about doing and never did. But today is the day to do it. New rank season. Quality games only. We're going to play League of Legends. Ranked solo queue. What season are we on now? 13? Last time you played League was season 3. I think I might have started in season 3. I think my first champion was either Wukong or Shivana. Either way, big thank you to everyone tuning in for the Dead Souls segment. If you're only here to watch Dead Souls, follow the channel so that way you get notified when we play it again. Also, we're on YouTube. Exclamation point YouTube. New Dead Souls stuff every single week. Alright, I think I have this all set up.